I am at the Savory House near Plimpton, Nova Scotia, the home of Alfred William Savory, who was a member of parliament for Digby and this area from 1867 to 74. This year, Canada is celebrating its 150th birthday, and I decided to stop and visit his home, which is a recognized heritage property. There's a plaque on the outside of the home which reads, Alfred William Savory, lawyer, legislator, judge, and historian, inspector of schools, Digby County, 1869 to 1972. To 1872, Member of Parliament for Digby, 1867 to 74, County Court Judge for Annapolis, Digby, and Yarmouth, 1876 to 1907, author of History of the County of Annapolis and other volumes, born in this house 10th October 1831, died in Annapolis Royal, Nova Scotia, 30th of March 1920. And his grave it can be found at the Anglican Cemetery in Digby. Moving along the front side of the home to the driveway, you can see out across the driveway the park, Provincial Park, which is also named after the family, the Savory Park. And buried in that park is his first ancestor, who came to this area after the American Revolution along with the Loyalists. That was my first interest in the area as a member of the United Empire Loyalists Association of Canada and president of the Nova Scotia branch. I'm now moving around to the rear of the property and you can see how it's been wonderfully cared for by his descendants, the property is still in the family and maintained by the family. There's a lovely flowers at the rear. I hope that you find this interesting and for more information on the Savory Home, you can find it on the internet under Loyalists of Nova Scotia, my name is Brian McConnell. Good day.